In this video, we'll be using the new Generative Fill tool to convert any image into watercolour art. Plus, I'll be showing you how to get your hands on this watercolour brush set for free. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So to start, open up Photoshop and make sure that you have the latest version installed as we're going to be working with the new Generative Fill tool and Contextual Taskbar. Now find yourself an image. So I'll be working with this nice and colourful image of a parrot and I'll put a link to this in the description below. To start, we're going to be creating a quick mask. This can be found at the bottom of the toolbar on the left. And if we double click this, we can see these options. And you can see my mask area will be indicated by the colour red and at 50% opacity. You can see by this icon that we are now in the quick mask mode. And so first we want to double click our foreground colour and change the brightness to 30%. The bigger your value, the stronger the effect will be on your image. After that, we want to select our image. So go up to Select All. And in this new contextual taskbar, we can now click Fill Selection and select Foreground Color. If the contextual taskbar isn't showing, you can activate it by going up to Window, down to Contextual Taskbar. You can see our masked area is indicated by this red from the options that we set before. Now exit your quick mask by clicking this icon again and we can now select generative fill. And here we can add the prompt watercolour painting. Then click generate. This is going to give us three variations to choose from which can be accessed at any time from the properties panel. If you don't like any simply hit generate again for three more options. After a few goes I found this one that I like and if we zoom in just look at how realistic this is. Now you can stop here if you're happy or you can take it a step further by making the colours bleed out from the image like they would if this was a real watercolour painting. To do this we're going to be using some watercolour brushes. Download these for free from the Adobe website at this link which I'll also link in the description below which is a full library of various brushes that you can download for free. And so we just want to download the watercolour brushes. So hit download. And once you've done that, let's jump back into Photoshop. So we're going to open up our brushes by going up to Window and selecting Brushes. Then hit More Options in the top right hand corner and select Import Brushes. Simply find the file that you downloaded and it's as easy as that. Now you have a selection of watercolour brushes added to your library. So our next step is to mask out the background. The easiest way to do this is to select your original image layer, which you can see doesn't have the effect applied. And then in the contextual taskbar, simply hit select subject and hit invert selection so our background is selected. Now select your layer mask and with the fill selection tool, choose black, which will mask out our background. You can now turn off your original image layer and we can see that we have clear cut our subject. Now select the brush tool and choose one of your new watercolour brushes. Make sure mode is set to normal. Drop the opacity down to around 30% and have your colour set to white. Now with your mask selected, we're going to paint in the background. Have a play here with what looks good. I like to paint in layers and use different brushes to get a more realistic effect. Our final step to make this look even more realistic is to add some paper texture in the background. I've found this free image here, which again I'll link to in the description below. And we're going to set this to our bottom layer. And then change the blend mode of our image to multiply. And there we have it how to convert any image into watercolour art. Thanks for watching. If you want to be the first to hear about new and trending design tips, hit the subscribe button now and leave me a comment of any tutorials you want to see next. We'll see you next time.